ericmothermother.com. Let's take a look at the live trading for Bitcoin. And we are showing here live trading for what is February 1st, 2018. And you can see here as I record this, we are pretty much at the lows of the day. Trading at about 9,405. We were going back, and I'm not going to go to all the details, but this is where the line on the daily should be holding. And this goes back to this entry of those lows that we saw. Uniform activity here of those lows. Uniform activity here of those lows. Uniform activity here, a good re-entry there. Uniform activity here, a good re-entry of what happens if we break the support line and right now as long as this remains the case of course the day is still we got many hours before the close of the day but this is a material break which means the threat of lower prices is really elevated right now this is not what the bulls in the cryptocurrency wanted to see as long as we don't see any type of uniformity support this is a major major sell signal in the short term also if we take a look at the daily here on the macd's you'll notice that the macd's are number one uniform activity rejection here previously we had seen uniform activity rejection around the zero line and now we are threatening to break to fresh lows here should that break to fresh lows on the daily MACD we can expect continued pressure to the downside and of course it all depends on where we close for the day if it can turn around for the day maybe there's a chance but this looks like a material break from the uniformity line that has been holding it together going back to April of 2017 right so this low here corresponds with the last time Bitcoin was trading below a thousand that was the last time from the lows here and of course we held we held with uniform activity we've been trying to hold here and here but now we are breaking below that so that becomes a major break. I want to show you something on the weekly. Now on the weekly, we've been watching this for a potential support here. Let's call it around there. And now we can see, depending on where we close for the week, today being a Thursday, as long as that is a break, that is not a good break. Now, if it can bounce back above the blue line with uniform activity, in other words, if it can figure out a way of at the end of the day, at the end of the week, at the end of the, you know, in the next couple of weeks, if it can bounce back above that line with uniform action, then this is a trap before it bounces higher. But that's a risky proposition because we have to take what we see and until we see something to the contrary, this looks like a material breach, a material break. Now, let me show you something else here, which is now the monthly. And the monthly did start, close the month above 69.1, the month of January. Now we are beginning the month of February. So I think we have to be very vigilant here. Let me see if I can zoom in here. All right, so the play here is the more we drop for the month, the more we move below 69.1, the more we can expect a substantial drop whenever on the month it is moving below 69.1. And at the same time, we also know that should we see that it has turned around or when it turns around, and moves back above 69.1 that is going to be a major support 
around the 69.1 level if it holds 69.1 and this is kind of can get confusing then we can expect a bounce but right now it looks like it is dropping below 69.1 which is pretty much a sign of an instrument that should very easily see much much lower prices also depending on where we close you can see ripples daily chart is failing to hold our lows before we had a move higher market has bounced on this line before for a swing trade we tried to hold this was actually looking like great support as we discussed in the prior video we have uniformity line right there and also we had lower prices with improving technicals which gave us positive divergence and this was good enough to start moving this higher but the market has refused so the fact that we are back below the blue line failing to hold our positive divergence line failing to hold our uniformity support line this becomes a major sell signal as long as we are trading below the blue line now if we take a look at the daily chart for ethereum we can see here a little bit of a different take we continue holding the line our uniformity line so we can see here or another way of saying this is as long as we have this support line on the daily this one or ethereum looks like it wants to hold and maybe this is a sign that the other major cryptos might hold but the risk is if the other cryptos are failing then it will not surprise me that this also goes on and fails with a break below this line so maybe this is giving us indication that bitcoin might find support and move above 69.1 on the monthly but the risk is as the other cryptos fail the the chances of this one failing are also very high and the chances of failing are actually magnified by the fact that if you take a look at the weekly chart let's see what i can get oops all right the weekly is showing that right now it is still moving below 69.1 on the weekly time frame which is not a good sign so moving below 69.1 is not a good sign and this is also risky it needs to move back above 69.1 in other words to stop this potential slide we can see from the weekly chart for monero that it dropped below 69.1 here on the weekly which is responsible for this drop it's not a good sign and if we take a look at the daily this is not looking good because what should be support based on this entry here and this was looking like perfect support once we started responding to that the expectation was much much higher prices for a swing trade to the upside but now this line has been broken which is a material break and this means that one needs to be out of the trade here and expect lower prices given that break also there's another line going back to the lows here which looked like it was gonna offer support but right now it is absolutely being broken right there so the break of this line is another material break and pretty much the risk remains to the downside unless they can figure out support somewhere on some time frame somewhere maybe support on the daily for example maybe if it comes back to test these lows which is an option if it can test the lows here this entry here came off those lows major lows short term if it can find support here may just maybe but given the fact that we've broken the lines we were watching line number one 
actually it was higher let's go line number one here and then line number two given that this have already broken really we have no business trying to play this for a bounce this is a major sell so by the time you're watching this we you're going to have the luxury of knowing how far they dropped but this doesn't look good based on the fact that this is a major major break and a change from the psychology of finding support from recent lows or recent support zones in other words this should have held but it has not and so now the risk has changed to potential lower 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 prices so now the question becomes how much lower can we go now if we consider that we've been let's say I think the highs was 19700 for Bitcoin and we've already seen a 50% drop. Let me go back. Right, so we've already seen a 50% drop. And that is at 98,500. Now, the next stop might be 61.8. So, which again take 19,700 times 0.382. And so the next potential stop is 7,500. That, that would be a 61.8 correction from the highs. That's a possibility. And also, it sounds fantastic, but with a high of 19,700, we can also see a possibility of it, this dropping 80%. So would be 0. 191 to the target can also go as low as 3700 that is also a possibility now in the short term let me leave this video here with a possibility that given the lows here which is that low right there we can also see potential for support now the market has used this before here which is this level now, I would not be jumping take that opportunity until I see good support on this line. So this is going to be tested. If it holds with uniform activity, well, maybe that might be where it finds immediate support. But for now, if we take a look at this daily, this has already broken our support line. And the fact that this did not hold, the risk is too elevated to be playing a bounce here. And so the downside targets remain. No need to be holding around here until you can see evidence either on the daily, weekly, or monthly. The risk here remains substantially elevated for major, major lows. We'll continue watching that Ethereum daily chart because it is the only one that I know of right now on the daily that seems to be finding support. Eric Mwad with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E A C S. And don't forget the date. I am out. Mwah. Woo. Now, if we take a look at the U.S. markets, we can see here that over the last couple of days, we've started to see volatility and especially volatility to the downside. So even as the U.S. market is still around the highs, there's an emerging view here, especially as we begin the month, that for U.S. markets and world markets, a down month can start bringing another dimension to the market and let me show you what I'm talking about here because if you take a look at the Canadian market you'll notice that over the last let's say two months or so we seem to have come and hit this line here and we can see a break of this line gave us this movement resistance here gave us a multi-month high 
and again resistance here gave us those highs so just a snapshot of one world market that is starting to look a little bit top heavy and we can see here we've had a huge run on the nasdaq and i believe at some point we are gonna see pretty much something close to a 50 percent correction in the general market or a 38.2 correction in the general market. So the risk is really, I think, staring at the market. And I believe just as we have seen the cryptos pull back significantly, the market is going to do exactly the same thing. It's a question of when. I mean, the moment is hard to tell, but one market has already imploded. The other market that has been doing great is the general world market. And I think what the cryptocurrencies are showing us is the possibility of downside pressure for pretty much all trading markets worldwide take a look here also we see that the Dow after a nice 2017 year is due for a major pullback you take a look at the S&P 500, same thing. Now, if you go to the recent highs, we can see at the highs here, the market gave us negative divergence because what happened here is we saw prices improve and we had this negative divergence. And since then, one has to be very careful of that downside possibility now does it mean that we can bounce well short term as i noted this is the line to watch as long as the market is holding here we have a chance of testing the highs but as we've seen with the cryptos something is changing in the market and i believe once we break this hourly support we can expect the market to really start pressing downwards take a look at the dow it also made new highs and that coincided with pretty much negative divergence and since then we've been down now the key short term is whether this line holds right there on the hourly as long as we are holding above this line the market should stabilize but as we begin a new month a new month as long as the monthly charts are down the pressure is going to be down and this might break once it breaks look out this market is due for a major major pullback and you know the one thing that i'm not sure is the path even if we are going to go lower generally you want to see divergence whoops let me do that so generally what you're going to see at the major top is improvement in prices declining technicals improvement in prices declining technicals so right now we have yet to see that so there's a theory that even with a pullback in prices that we might still have to make fresh highs and the market make lower highs and i've been saying that that's a possibility that the future negative divergence where markets improve and we see a decline in the technicals that the negative divergence a future negative divergence is what is needed to set the stage for a major top and that is a possibility Of course, the other option is a hard break. In other words, it would take a hard break below 69.1 to kill this bull market without a future positive, without a future negative divergence. And again, short term, the line to watch is this line here. On the hourly which was this entry gave us a nice low here towards 
the end of the year, early this year, end of 2017 and early this year for those entries. We've been bouncing here, which is logical. That's good. As long as this line is holding, we can expect even an attempt to make new highs. And I keep saying watch this break because I watch a line. If we break, things are going to change. And especially as long as we are down for the month, as long as we are red for the month, the pressure is going to be for downside action. So I personally believe, as we've seen with the cryptos, they are going to struggle if they don't hold. And I also believe that the general market is going to follow exactly the script that has been laid down by the cryptos. I think the cryptos were moving largely because we were in a general bull market. And now that we've seen the cryptos crack, it means that the general market at some point is going to crack and crack hard and heavy and fast. Keep in mind, the general rule is that you take the staircase or a staircase on the way up, but unfortunately on the way down, you take the elevator. Pretty much that's the risk. Eric Mwadet, Mwadet.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Woo!